welcome back and seeing as it's the 40th anniversary of Rocky I thought I'd uh, show you what I've been up to just a bit of a coincidence I started tinkering around with this the other day and then I saw a review from uh, uh, AVG or whatever it's called the uh, movie video game nerd whatever and he was, uh, he was going through the uh, Rocky films and just you know giving a recap on all of them and uh, yeah, just thought I'd finish this off. Still got a few little minor little things to touch up, like the little converse symbol on his boot. I've started it, but don't know if I'll bother. Put the little blue star in, might be too tricky. But I repainted the meat. That, this meat come with the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre set from a few years back. And the meat was kind of like a a sort of greyish, greenish looking and it was like meat that had been sitting for a while and looked like it was going off so I had to touch up the the meat with some skin tones and uh, some brighter red to make it look more vibrant and fresh otherwise that meat weren't going to get eaten by anybody <laughs> so anyway this figure is from Necker I believe um, it's a nice little figure, the detail on the sculpt pretty good. I'll take it off in a second so you can have a proper look at it. I did do a video on this before I think, so uh, you might be able to go back and compare it if you want to see what it looked like before. It was pretty clean out of the box. Uh, my only nitpick with it is that it should have a little blue towel around his neck. It's got like a blue hoodie on but I don't think that's screen accurate. And other than that, the figure's pretty accurate to the film. I put the oh, Italian stallion on the back. I was missing, and I bloodied up his hands where he's uh, pounded on the, the beef. You're breaking the ribs. So, yeah, it's come out pretty well. Pretty happy with it. I might be selling this one because I do have another um, set of meat. And uh, like the slaughterhouse type setup, and I've got another one of these figures. So if anybody's interested in buying this little stocking filler or present to themselves, I might be yeah sticking this on eBay uh, shortly because I need some money. So there you go. Anyway, I don't know if you can see the likeness. The style's pretty good. He's giving it the old one two, a one two. Go for the ribs. So yeah, it's a nice little outfit. I tried dyeing it first, but it didn't work out. So I've just used the weathering powders, uh, the oil effect, and that's worked pretty well to give it a dirty look. And so I painted the meat and uh, sealed it with uh, like a matte varnish. It's looking quite shiny in there. Don't think the varnish is properly dried. Oh, and that's everything I did. He is quite a wobbly figure, so I put some magnets in the base. As you can see, drilled some holes in the feet. And uh, he's not totally sturdy, but he's a lot more sturdy than he was before. Without them, so that's a little nice little feature. Um, what else can I say about it, really? It's a nice figure, do love the film. I say I've got the parts to make another one. So if anybody is interested in picking this up, make me an offer or uh, look out for it on eBay soon. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you like the look of this and uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye.